Good afternoon. The Secretary General and the Prime Minister will make short introductory remarks and then we'll have time uh, for one or two questions. Secretary General. Prime Minister uh, Ratas, uh, Yuri, it's uh, great to see you once again here at the NATO headquarters and uh, to welcome you here is to really welcome a close and very highly valued, uh, valued uh, ally uh, of uh, NATO. And uh, Estonia is a highly valued ally uh, because you uh, contribute to NATO in so many different uh, ways. Uh, you contribute to our collective defense, uh, to our shared uh, security, to NATO missions and operations, and we are extremely grateful for that. Uh, um, you host a multinational uh, NATO battle group uh, in Tapa, boosting our uh, defense and deterrence. And I remember I visited the battle group mm. and it was extremely uh, uh, impressive to see uh, the commitment and the professionalism of uh, all the troops uh, and the way uh, uh, Estonia is hosting these uh, battle groups. So we are thankful for that. Your troops are also in Afghanistan, uh, help to train local forces to fight international uh, terrorism. And then, of course, Estonia leads by example by spending uh, uh, actually more than 2% on defense, 2% um, of uh, GDP. Uh, this is important because you invest in modern capabilities, but it's also important because uh, you then uh, uh, lead by example uh, and help uh, me uh, to convince other allies to follow the example of uh, Estonia. Uh, then Estonian leadership is also important in cyber. Uh, you play a key role in uh, uh, contributing to uh, the adaptation, the strengthening of NATO's cyber defenses. Um, you have volunteered your national cyber capabilities to NATO missions and operations and you share best practices to the Cyber Center of Excellence in uh, Tallinn. And you also host uh, very important, valuable uh, exercises, uh, cyber defense uh, exercises, building our resilience to cyber attacks. Last month in Tallinn, over 1,000 cyber experts took part in Lockheed Shields, the world's largest live fire uh, uh, cyber uh, exercise. And this month, uh, your cyber experts joined conventional forces in exercise uh, Spring uh, Storm. This brought together over 9,000 troops from 15 allies and partners and provided training for one of four uh, NATO battle groups in the uh, 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 region. Such exercises are part of strengthened defense and deterrence. Uh, so, Prime Minister, dear Yuri, we have just uh, discussed the upcoming uh, meeting of NATO leaders and heads of state and government uh, in, uh, in London uh, in December this year. We will uh, uh, mark and uh, celebrate the 70th anniversary of our uh, alliance and it will be also a good opportunity platform to chart uh, the uh, way forward as we continue to adapt uh, NATO to a more a demanding and difficult security environment, but as long as we stand together, as long as we are united, uh, uh, we are safe and we are secure because uh, NATO is the most successful alliance in history because we have been able to stand uh, united uh, and deter uh, uh, any adversary. Um, so once again, uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for, for coming here. Thank you for hosting the battle groups. Uh, and uh, NATO will continue to stay committed to the security of Estonia with our uh, battle groups, with our air policing, and uh, with our ironclad commitment to your security. So once again, welcome. Dear Jens, uh, dear journalists, let me start by just saying that uh, Jens is doing a fantastic job as the Secretary General of NATO. We, the Allies, are very lucky to have him our colleague. This April, NATO celebrated its 17th anniversary, and in March, Estonia celebrated 15 years of NATO membership. Since the beginning of our membership, NATO has had the full support of the Estonian people as well as of different governments, evident in our long-standing commitment to spending 2% of GDP 
on defense. At the meeting with the Secretary General today, I was happy to reinforce that Estonia will continue spending more than 2% of GDP. This is crucial in order to provide stability to our own defence forces and capability development and in order to uphold the commitments we have undertaken in the, the international community and in NATO in particular. Today more than 100 Estonian servicemen are deployed to various international operations around the world, including to the NATO Resolute Support Mission in Afghanistan. We will uphold these commitments as a means to promote peace and international security to show solidarity with our allies. Solidarity and unity are the building blocks at the Alliance. We are, we are very grateful to the Allies for showing unity and contributing to the enhanced forward presence, the Baltic Air Policing Mission, the Centers of Excellence and other NATO activities in the Baltic region, including the headquarter of NATO's multinational division north in Latvia. NATO will remain the pillar of transatlantic security. NATO's deterrence and defense posture has strengthened considerably within the last five years, including progress of the Brussels summit decisions take last year. Hopefully, the defense minister will be able to witness further steps on enhancing the readiness of our forces and the ability to reinforce in June meeting. I look forward to the NATO leaders' meeting in London in December to take further stock of the Brussels summit decision. Thank you. Okay, we have time for one question, Estonian TV. From Estonian Public Broadcasting, uh, one problem in our region is air defense. defense. Did you discuss the topic and uh, what kind of next steps we could wait? We discussed the topic and air defense uh, is important uh, and therefore this will also be an issue that will be addressed at the uh, upcoming uh, defense ministerial meeting uh, of NATO, NATO ministers in, uh, in uh, June. Uh, first of all, uh, NATO has increased its presence in the Baltic uh, region uh, with air policing, uh, with the battle groups, uh, and, uh, and we are also then looking uh, into how, how we can uh, make sure that we are uh, delivering the necessary uh, uh, capabilities to always have the uh, necessary readiness uh, uh, and strength of these uh, battle groups. Uh, then we have to remember that NATO's uh, protection, NATO's defense uh, of all allies, but including the uh, uh, Baltic countries, uh, is not only dependent on the forces we have already deployed there, uh, but is also dependent on our ability to quickly reinforce if we see a need to uh, reinforce. And uh, therefore, uh, we have uh, tripled the size of the NATO response force. We are now working on what we call the NATO readiness initiatives, which will make us even more able to deploy forces and air defense systems to different parts of the alliance, including to the Baltic states. So air defense is higher than agenda. Air defense is partly about what we can have stationed there, but also how we can quickly deploy additional capabilities if needed. If I may, then I would like to say that I am supporting 100% uh, what Secretary General just said. Here, the defence is also very important uh, for us, uh, for Estonia and all the Baltic region. And I'm really happy that our uh, ministers of defence they will uh, discuss it uh, near future. That's true that we discussed also at our bilateral meetings, including, the, for example, the readiness initiative, reinforcement, and including the air defense as well. Thank you very much. This concludes this press point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.